Since this is an introductory video, I should talk about the application we're using, which is Paint.net. It's been around over five years. Um, it's uh, developed on the .NET framework for Microsoft, and the author has uh, created um, updates, and this latest update is 4.05. Some of the tools that are here lets us manage and control the toolboxes. The typical user will sometimes clear their space so they can see what they're drawing and then wonder where their toolboxes are. It used to be that you can click on Windows and get those, but by clicking here we can add those toolboxes back. It's also not required that these controls or boxes stay on our plat on, on our on our platform or right on our window. They are independent windows themselves so we can move them off and even off page someplace else. This also is an application that um, is free freeware but there's an opportunity for you to donate and there's a support forum with uh, questions answered as well as lots of tutorials uh, tutorials that would help you draw and design some very sophisticated and very pretty images and there's some plugins that have been developed by others that have been added that you can also download of course when you download something developed by a third person sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so do that cautiously in this exercise I'd like us to focus on the gradient tool and the lasso tool which lets us select uh, in free form and the image we're going to draw today is something we may have seen before and that's a standard background that's offered by Microsoft Microsoft Windows 7 so we're going to try to create some of the features in this background let's begin I'll start by creating a gradient background that I can put those well what looks like mountains and volcanoes and various other objects, clouds and uh, even smoke, or what seems to be that coming from the top. Um, I'll select the gradient tool. I'll select my two colors, and it seems like this background is kind of grayish green, getting lighter as we go down. So for my primary color, I'll choose something in the gray uh, area, probably grayer than that, and then uh, something in the gray green. This looks this looks good and maybe that color is too too rich so I'll I'll tone that down a little bit change the saturation to be a little bit more balanced I think that's I think that's a good combination I'll try it out I'll just go over here and I'll click and drag I have two points I can work with and as I move these I can change and create a gradient from below that mark is a pure color the pure hue if you will or the color that I've selected from the wheel um, and then a, a, a gradual change up to the other mark which is up here now you don't have to settle for just one edge to the other you can also take those marks beyond the edge of the canvas and that allows you to have much more control of the gradient you can also change the direction of the gradient and for us today I think this is this is what we're after so this will be our background that we'll draw on I'll choose the lasso tool next and I'll change my colors and I'm going to do something very specific. I'm going to look for one of these ob objects in the background, like this. Well, it looks like a sloped hill. There's a couple of them that are, again, kind of gray. This one looks kind of transparent. Um, we'll see what we can do to create that as well. So to, to draw this, I will change my colors. My primary color will be a light gray. And my secondary color will be a light gray and I'll make this one lighter much lighter so I'm kind of looking over the edge here just to see what we do have and it looks like it's kind of tr semi transparent so we'll pull that down just a little bit too, to see that effect here's a feature that I hope you um, recognize as a useful a useful method or tool and that is to simply draw the pattern you, you want in this case my my mountain and once I've drawn that, I can switch to gradient, and whatever I do with gradient happens within that space. I didn't have to create a layer for that. If I want to manage these mountains, I would put it on a layer. But for us, I, I'm not worried about being able to go back and edit whatever I create. I think I'm just going to draw as I go. I'm going to create another one over here, much the same way, except this time I'm going to use the selection tool and draw from... draw my gradient from the top down I'll switch that that's what I was after that's the look I was after so now there's a, another mountain and I've started this process I'll switch back over 
to my select tool. If you ever want to get rid of the, if you ever want to get rid of this, the whatever you've had selected, I press the escape key, so it'll drop that. Now I'll move my window to take a look at the background to see what other options I have. Looks like there's another one uh, in front of these, so let's try that. Use my select tool, and I'll draw yet another shape. This time a little bit, a little more creative. I'll draw my gradient in here, and well, that looks okay. Now if I press enter right here, I want you to notice up here on our on our history, it will finish our gradient. If I press enter again, it'll it'll deselect. So it basically, in this case, since I'm one layer, it will flatten this, which means the only way to get rid of this is to do Control Z or press Control Z or undo, which I can do and go back step by step. But I, I like what I have, so I just keep it. So let's move on. Um, I'm going to change my color. I'm going to use um, something a little more uh, green and I'll still keep my gray using the select tool. Let's create another little hill over over here someplace. Yeah, something like that. And choose gradient, draw in my color, and I think I'll put it at an angle. Only it's a lot greener than I wanted. I think I want it to be a little more blue. So because I haven't flattened it yet, because I haven't set it, I can actually change my color. Okay, maybe that's a little too blue. We'll go with that. Okay, and then how do I how do I finish this? I press enter twice once, twice, and it's done. So let's continue this pattern. I'll do a few um, with you, and then um, when I get to an area where I start something new, I'll slow the video down, and we'll do it together. Let's make some volcano smoke coming out of the top of this. I'll continue to use my select tool. There we are, and I'll change my gradient to what I would think might be a, a smoky look. Move some of these rich colors down here, and we'll fade that into our typical gray, uh, dark gray. Back to gradient. No, it needs to be a little less, a little less rich up here for this color. Let's bring that down, that saturation down a bit. That looks, that looks better. And again, I am, I am using the, um, so I'll flatten that by pressing enter once, twice. And let's take a look and see how close we are getting. Well, my volcano doesn't look quite like theirs, but that's okay. That's not my intended to copy theirs. It's just to uh, get some of these ideas. I think I'll put a cloud in or two, uh, I've put some darker clouds in, and then um, I think we'll be close to done. So let's do some features on some of these mountains with, um, again, our select tool. So I'll choose a select tool, and I'll wrap, um, I think I'll wrap a snowy looking road around here. So it goes from here, down the edge, and then kind of back. We'll match the edge, and we'll put a much lighter color Let's do white on white. Oh, I forgot to switch over to my gradient tool, which uh, seems to be happening because I'm thinking about my uh, project more than which tool I am actually using. There we are. 
So that exists. And let's do the same thing for the clouds in the sky. Press enter to flatten it and um, make a happy little cloud that's, well, let's make one right over the top of this. And yes, that was a tribute to um, Mr. Ross, that happy little cloud comment. There we are. So we've added some features, we've added some backgrounds. Oh, I guess we should add one more um, wispy little thing that, with some um, very unique colors, maybe an orange. Oh. So for this project, we could continue to add and, and paint more onto this, but I think, um, I think we're done for now.